Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Personal Pack Brahmin, which is being made by user Isathar. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to create your own Brahmin to carry all of your worldly possessions, and oh, I'm so happy about that, and I'm sure poor little old Dogmeat will be quite happy as well, as he no longer has to carry all of my junk, now I can make a Brahmin do it. And in fact, not just one Brahmin, but with this mod, you can actually create an entire caravan of up to four customizable Brahmin, and that is just wonderful, and thankfully, easy to use. All you have to do is go into your workshop mode, and then, oh boy, if I back out here actually so you can see where to go, resources, then miscellaneous, and in here you will find the Pack Brahmin Manager, not to be confused with the Brahmin Feed Trough, though, incidentally, the Pack Brahmin Manager actually does also function as a feed trough, but it also has attached to it all the options that are important for you for this mod. So let's just build that for a mere four ceramic. And I actually should point out on the resources for this right now, both the low ceramic count as well as the currently lack of resources to create your pack Brahmin is at the moment a temporary thing. The mod maker hasn't balanced the mod yet. He's wanting to work out all of the uh, technical kinks first before then going back and actually adding in uh, gameplay balancing. So keep that in mind for now. But yes, once you have this thing built, you can just walk right up to it and you can see here we can actually interact with it and it will bring up this pack Brahmin manager, where you'll first probably notice the current pack animal count, and this here shows you how many animals you currently have out there in the world, and as I said, up to four. We can then simply create a new pack of Brahmin again for no resources, it just gets created for free, uh, but that will change in the future, uh, which we'll do momentarily. The next is the options, which have all of the sort of nitty gritty things for the mod in here, very important. And then uninstall slash reset, which we'll talk about momentarily. But first, let's jump into options. And in here, you're going to see up at the top two different times. And these are your delete dead time, which is controlled via this option here, and your max wait time, which is controlled by this option here. And what these are is once one of your animals dies, its body will remain there for three days. And also, if you go into a building, by default, the Brahmin will not follow you because, well, they're pack Brahmin. They're not exactly meant to go inside buildings, so they will wait for you at where you left them when you went into the building for up to a day. After a day, if you haven't gone back to them, they will automatically go back to their home settlement. We'll talk about how you set that all momentarily, but now let's get down into the options. Now the first one here is Protected Pack Animals, which is disabled by default, and this essentially... <laughs> oh boy, it makes your Brahmin immortal. So if you don't want your Brahmin to die, you can enable this, but by default, it's disabled so that your Brahmin can actually be killed. The next option is auto enable lamps at night, and there is an option for customizing your Brahmin to have a lamp on them. So of course you have a little bit of light and you can enable it here so that they automatically come on at night or you can manually turn them on yourself by interacting with the Brahmin. Now, of course, here is the change delete dead time. So by default, it's three days and again, this is for if your Brahmin dies, you have up to three days to come back to basically pick up all your stuff. And the max wait time is how long they'll wait for you before going home, which by default is set to one day. Uh, now the next option and last option actually is wait on player enter interior. This <laughs> is enabled by default and this is what basically makes the Brahmin wait for you outside of a building, you can actually disable this and the Brahmin will follow you inside. But beware that if you do that, you're probably going to get stuck because these are very large animals and they don't like to move. So if you let them come in the building with you, they're going to 
be much more of a hassle than they're worth, so just let them wait outside, they'll be fine for up to a day. Now let's head back and actually create ourselves a Brahmin, and where'd he go? Oh, here he is, a lovely, somewhat albino looking Brahmin. Hello my friend, and he will now follow me as a pack Brahmin. And what we need to do to actually interact with him is just walk up to him and hit E. Now you'll notice we don't actually have a, uh, you know, setting here like we do with dog meat. We don't have the E for command, but if we click on him, there we are. You can see we get this menu here, and we can customize his equipment, set him with commands, check his status, and exit. Now, by default, his home is where we built him here in Sanctuary, and he actually is, uh, heading home right now. So let's actually command him to follow us so he doesn't head home. I thought that he would follow by default, but that is not the case. I keep forgetting that. I've done this like eight times now, and every time I forget they're not set to follow, and then they try and go home, and I wonder where in the world my pack of ramen went. But yes, so whenever you do create one, you'll have to click it to follow, but then once you have that, it'll be good to go to follow you wherever you want to be. Now... Let's actually start by customizing up an equipment here. We'll go into the rest of the commands momentarily, but in equipment, we can, of course, open our inventory here and start putting in things into our pack Brahmin so he can carry just whatever goods we need him to. Uh, but of course, I want to customize him to carry more things, which is always good. So we can also toggle the light on and off here. Uh, remember, like I said earlier, it can go on automatically, but you can also toggle it on. But for customizing your Brahmin, our first option is Pack Base. And this, we can either have none, light, or heavy. Now with the light, he'll have a higher speed, but a lower carry capacity. And with heavy, he'll have a heavy, or a higher carry capacity, but a lower speed. Let's just go for the light for now, and as you can see, bam, he's got those big boxes on the top of him. So it then brings us back into the manager, and we can then, say, uh, customize his top, which again, we have none, light, or heavy, but this one, besides speed and carry weight, also adds some damage reduction. Now, both of them do the same thing, but let's go for the heavy one. What the heck? So we have a light bottom, but a heavy top, and you'll see we have more cargo up there. And of course, at any time, we can, oop, not open inventory. We can actually uh, go into the equipment and change these to whatever else you desire. And then the final option we have here is lamps. And you have a couple. The first is no lamp. The second is a lamp, but only with the heavy pack top, which of course we have. Then no lamp two and lamp two. And again, it's just different customizations of them. I like this one. So now we have that lamp right up there, which if we turn on, there you go, you can see is producing some light. Lovely, but of course it is defaulted to start turning on when it comes to night anyways. So, you know, you can just kind of roll with it. Now, as for our commands, we have a small selection of, of course, follow, wait here, wait at, which you can tell him to go to a specific settlement. We can then actually tell him to offload goods at a specific settlement, and he will actually go to the workshop station at that settlement to actually drop them off, which is freaking awesome. And after he's done dropping them off, he'll actually come back to you. So you no longer have to head back to a settlement to offload your goods. You just send one of your potentially four pack Brahmins and he'll do it for you. Now you can also set his home. So again, if he's waited too long, he'll automatically return home to a specific settlement that you tell him to. We then also have toggle tracking, which allows us, if we actually click that setting, to track him in a miscellaneous quest. So if we bring this up here, we can currently track Kotobos's pack Brahmin, and he will then be on the map, as you can see right there, which is quite convenient if you are sending them away to go and, uh, you know, drop off your goods at home and then return to them. You can see their prog progress, which is always nice. And then, of course, the final option we have is dismiss, and this will actually delete him. And he goes back to a non-existence, and we have to go and create a new Brahmin once again. There we are. I did not mean to bring up my pit boy. Where is there? Yeah, there he is. Excellent. Ah, more of a pink one this time. Well, let's tell him to actually 
follow us, and then go down to the next option that we have here in the management tab, which is of course status. So you can see how much health, heal rate, etc. that this current uh, Brahmin does have, and it'll actually show the carry value of how much stuff inside of him is worth, which is quite a handy little feature. I quite like that. And of course what his command status is. And uh, remember the different... Uh, customizations for his pack would change things like armor etc so you can see how that changes in here which is pretty cool and all in all it's just an awesome awesome freaking mod i love the ability of having my own pack brahmin around and the fact that they can actually go back to a settlement to drop off their goods on their own is pretty awesome so and of course we also have the ability to have multiples of these guys following us at any given point in time which is just cool so if we get him to follow us i can actually tell him for instance to go and uh, offload goods at gray garden yes confirm and he is going to start traveling there oh come on pathing there we go he is now heading to um wherever i just sent him gray gardens i think <laughs> wow i already forgot that impressive he's gonna go there drop off his load which of course is nothing and then he will return to me while simultaneously i can have this pack brahmin keeping up with me as i run around the world and he'll you know carry my stuff and that is great and again we can have up to four of these so that's really all i have to show you so the last thing is the uninstall and reset now one of the problems i've had with this mod is if we go back into the workshop mode hold on if i could press the right key there we go and head back over to resources and miscellaneous you'll see we no longer have one of these pack brahmin managers in here and in fact if I delete this thing, say scrap it, because I can't store it, you only have the option to move or scrap it, then it disappears. It no longer is in my miscellaneous menu. It is gone forever. Unless you actually go in here and reset it first. But then of course, if you reset, that also means your pack Brahmin disappear. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. If you got something going really, really wrong, you're going to want to reset it. But then, of course, your Brahmin will disappear. This thing will disappear. You'll have to buy a new one and start again from scratch. So it's a little finicky. But again, it's kind of because this mod is still working out the technical issues. Again, that's the reason why the pack Brahmin are free to build. Because at the moment, they're trying to do all the technical things before anything else. Uh, but yeah, that is or has been rather the personal pack of brahmin mod and if you would like to check it out for yourself you can just go and check the link in the description as always and i definitely would say to give it a go it's pretty cool and something definitely to look at for the future because apparently this is just the beginning. The mod maker is wanting to do an entire overhaul of the caravan system. So this is just the start. Perhaps in the future we'll have many, many more options. But for the time being, it's just a useful pack Brahmin mod. And definitely go and give it a try. And of course, I hope you have liked this episode and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.